Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, and look where we are, friends. We're in Barcelona, Spain, taking on FC Barcelona at Camp Nou. Who could have imagined when we were in the conference, the fifth tier of English football, and Seb Brown saved those two penalties against Luton Town to send us into the Football League? Who among us could have imagined playing in front of 90,000 Spaniards? But here we are in the Champions League, in, in the uh, group stages, playing one of the greatest clubs in the history of football, Barcelona. This is an amazing, amazing moment for these young men. H. Walter White, um, who is not a meth, John Green, um, who is not a meth. That was a great description. John Green, bald John Green. Uh, his husband, other John Green, in the stands tonight. Look at that. We were on seven points. We're ahead of Barcelona. Um, we've played a bunch of games so far this season uh, to get ready, but look at that. Cesc Fabregas, Lionel Messi, Alexis Sanchez. I mean, they are stacked top to bottom. Eric Dyer, the Dyer Wolf, Sergio Busquets. I mean, these are household names, and who are they playing? They're playing the likes of... Uh, <laughs> Meredith was just like, household names? They're playing the li likes of John Green, Kelvin, Dicko, uh, Hells Pels, Correa Correa, Correa Correa, and, um, of course, in goal, who else but Seb Brown. Um, this is going to be a wonderful matchup. Today I'm going to talk about how to make friends uh, here in our first uh, proper game back in the Wimbley Womblies. I, I have to tell you quickly, though, where we are uh, in the league and everything. We are um, we're actually first in the league, uh, in the Premier League, uh, one point ahead of Manchester United at the moment. Uh, I think we've played about eh, eight or nine games. And um, we are, as you saw, at the top of the group stages in the Champions League, um, although that could change today if we somehow fail to beat Barcelona at home, which, you know, let's face it, is likely. But, uh, but we're going to enjoy ourselves. Like, this is a wonderful night out for the people of South London, for the owners of this club, the fans of this club who are also its owners. Um, it's just an amazing occasion. So we're just going to try to have a good time tonight and be happy, uh, which I think is also the key to friendship, incidentally. Um, so, uh, and then the other update is that, um, I mean, some player updates. Dini has had, thus far, a really difficult season. Despite being paired with Dicko, uh, nothing has changed for him. You know, it shouldn't, the, the, the presence of, or the lack of, oh no, oh no, panic! Oh, Seb, nope. I was so excited about Seb Brown's save. But you know what? Lionel Messi is the best player in the world today, Meredith. Of course he's going to score a goal against us, and then weirdly do the mustache celebration. Um, perhaps in honor of, of Bald John Green, a player he respects and admires. Um, they did briefly play together, you'll remember, in uh, FIFA 13, when, uh, when Bald John Green was a member of Barcelona for a little while. There's Bald John Green on the ball. That's not a bad cross. Yes, it is. Um, so, uh, it's pretty... I think being... I think uh, making friends is mostly is is first and foremost a matter of being a good friend. This is something that I've learned from my best friends over the years. Uh, my friend Todd in high school was a really good friend, and then my best friend now, Chris Waters, is uh, is an incredible friend. Like just a great listener. Like always calls you when you know this is this is a disaster. Always calls you. There's Seb. Always calls you when he you know he knows that you're having a tough day. Like if I'm getting some like uh, like I remember I got a colonoscopy. And like, even though I didn't even, I didn't even think I'd told Chris about my colonoscopy, he called me later that day to see how it went. That's the kind of like friend that he is. And like, I think being a good friend, being attentive toward the needs of others, um, really listening, um, listening empathetically, that's what really, that's what really takes a friendship and makes it something special in people in, in your life. Um, so that's the first thing I'd say. Uh, the second thing I'd say is that, like, at, in high school and college, it's relatively, or, or middle school or elementary school or uh, preschool in my son's case, it's relatively, oh, God. Well, I mean, we just met Meredith. We, it's funny because we had this heroic victory against Barcelona in one of our first games of the season. 1-0 at home. I didn't record it because I was trying to race through the season. And here we are getting our absolute butts whomped at Camp Nou because it's an away game. And the only thing we got a ginger referee calling fouls on us. And that's in what world is that a foul by us? Seriously. Oh, this is difficult. It's difficult days here. Um, we may need to change our 
I, I will also fiddling with our formation, which I probably shouldn't do. I'm a four four two person at my in my heart, and I've been trying to do this four three three one business to try to take advantage of Kelvin's speed, and like I just don't know that it's really working out. But ball, John Green's on the ball. That's a good cross. Oh, and then nobody finds it. Nobody finds it. Like so much effort in this world, it goes for naught. Um, so uh, in high school and college and elementary school and preschool, for our preschool listeners, I think the number one way to make friends is to, uh, you know, is to, is to try to be nice to people at your school. Now, that, that can be a miserable and difficult process. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to in any way uh, minimize it because uh, many people are not nice um, or think that the key to social standing is to be cruel, um, and maybe it is. But um, but again, we're not looking for social standing here. We're looking for like meaningful, uh, constructive uh, friendships that can that can like help fill up the need for to love and be loved in your life. Um, and so I think like just. Uh, being kind to people, being finding people who share your interests, um, and uh, and you know, talking about those interests and getting excited about them is like my number one way to make friends, oh, or at least it was in high school and college. Um, then I got out of college and I realized that I had no idea how to make friends except in a school environment because that was the only way that I'd ever made them. Like I'd never, I'd never really had a friend who I didn't go to school with. Um, and so, and I didn't really have any idea how to make them. Now, I had some work friends, uh, which was great because it meant that I had a job, and jobs are awesome. Um, but I didn't have, that's a good ball, that's a good ball. Oh, come on, Dicko, you're faster than that. We just can't keep up with the pace of Barcelona Football Club, guys, and, and who, who frankly could? I mean, they're the best team in the world. We may face them again. The important thing is that we finish in the top two, so we've got to beat, the teams we have to beat are like Roma... That's a good opportunity. It's a really good opportunity! Golly gee! That was a really good opportunity. We just weren't quite fast enough. But it's telling me that things are opening up. Maybe we can find a way to get two goals in the second half and score two points in this game. Um, two points? One point. Sorry, I'm not very good at math, Meredith, as you know. Um, do you think it's time to switch to a 4-4-2? Because I do. I think that we need to make, we need to make the switch. 442 flat, our old standard 442 flat. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's what I would say, Meredith. I don't know. I, 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 to be fair though, I've only made the one, uh, the one friend since college, and I am 37 years old. So maybe I shouldn't be talking too much about how to make friends. But the way that I made friends with Chris was that Chris and I went to a, um, we went uh, to a, a neighborhood progressive dinner together. Um, which was like, it was really interesting. I'm wondering if I should give Deanie a chance or if I should just, you know, stick with, I almost said, <laughs> stick with the dick O. Um, actually I did say it now that I, now that I, now that I paused to think about it. I did, I did say those words. I'm going to stick with the dick O, uh, in right midfield, move K St. Luce to the left. And then who do we have who can rampage up the sidelines? We've got Frankenstein and John McLean, who are going to be our last two substitutions, presumably coming on uh, for Dicko and uh, K. St. Luce eventually. But I think this is what we're going to do for now. Um, all right, Dicko's tired, but he's going to be... A, um, we just need him to give us like 15 good minutes out there on the, uh, on the side. And then we've got to give Deanie a chance. We've got to say, Deanie... Is this your moment to shine? Because Dini, again, he has not scored a goal for us all season, despite being regularly paired with Dicko. Dicko's had himself a pretty good season. Dini has really just struggled. There's no other word I can use to describe it. It's just been brutal for him. Uh, he's missed short. He's missed long. He's missed every which way. Um, the other thing that I would say uh, about friendship is that um, is that uh, you may have friends that you just haven't noticed that you have. Um, that was a big thing for me after college. So I was in this uh, really intense... Oh, gosh. Well, I don't think we're going to win this game, Meredith, realistically speaking. You know what I mean? It's just been... Welcome back to the Wimbly Womblies, where we always lose 5 to nothing. Um, I mean, Barcelona's just so good, guys. I'm sorry. I really wanted to put on a show for you today, but I don't think it's going to happen. 
Um, if you have advice, I'm sure that you'll put it in comments about all the things I'm doing wrong. But I feel like I haven't even been passing out of the back because I haven't had any opportunities to. Oh, uh, cut it back. Cut it back. There you go. Pass to somebody who's open. Pass. Nope. That got cut off. Jeez, they're so fast. Um, yes. Yes. Nope. I was going to pass back to Ball John Green, who was going to be such a nice give and go. But it didn't happen. Oh, almost. Really like to score a goal just for the, uh, just for our supporters. I mean, it would be special to score a goal in Camp New, even if, uh, even if we're going to get our butts kicked in this game. Um, it would be it would be a memory for whoever scores the goal. And it, I, I was thinking that, like, even if we lose, it could inspire Dini to great things if he could get himself just the first goal. Like, I think a lot of times that first goal is just huge. Um, but let's face it, it's October, and we're going to face some big questions in January about, um, uh, about the future of the strikers at this club. Is it going to be Dini? Is it going to be Dicko? Is it going to be, um, you know, in our last season here, do we need to go all out on a few strikers? Do we need to, you know, oh, were you really off sides, Dini? So the thing I was going to say is that, like, sometimes you have friends and you don't know about it. Like, um, when I was in this, like, hugely, uh, it was like a defining romantic relationship for me, right? So, like, all the times that I would see my friends, I would also be seeing my girlfriend. And most nights I would be just with my girlfriend and not spending a lot of time with my with my friends who weren't my girlfriend. Um, and then when we broke up, I remember being really, really, uh, I mean, I was devastated, but part of the reason that I was so devastated was that I felt like I didn't have any friends and like I was just gonna be like, quote unquote, all alone. Um, and that turned out to be a dramatic oversimplification because it, in the coming months, I realized that I did have friends. I just hadn't been taking advantage of those opportunities. Like I hadn't been reaching out to them, which is difficult for me to do, but like it is possible. I hadn't been reaching out to them and saying like, hey, do you want to hang out? Can we have dinner? Like, um, and, and then when I started doing that, I started to really have great, um, great experiences with my friends. And in fact, some of my favorite memories are of, um, uh, we ended up, I ended up moving in with some of these people and, uh, with my friend Hassan and my friend Shan and my friend Katie who coined the term DFTBA. Um, and, um, and we were all living together, um, in this house that was kind of like the real world house. Like, uh, it had really, it had lots of paint colors and it was also the first house that I'd ever lived in. And the only house that I'd ever seen on TV was the real world house. So that's probably why I made that connection. But anyway, it felt like the real world house. And like, you know, like we just had so much fun together and we would have these dinners where we would uh, like cook, not particularly well, but we would like cook with each other. And it was just so fun. It was like, oh, within inches of a goal, Dini that might have made his season completely different, but he just, he got it all wrong, Meredith, as you so often do in life. Um, well, hopefully the, uh, the Wimbly Womblies, you see, oh, is he coming off? Is Messi coming off? Thank God. Oh, great. It's just Luis Suarez coming on. That's, I mean, the, when Luis Suarez is on your bench, arguably the third best player in the world today, uh, I don't know. It's tough for, it's tough for Hell's Pels and Correa Correa to compete with that, but we're going to keep trying. That's a good ball. That's a good ball to Dicko. Dicko cut back. Yes. Nope. Can't cut back against Barcelona. <laughs> um, uh, and so wh when I'd always, what, what, I'd, what I'd imagined was going to be kind of the hardest and most miserable period of my life um, ended up becoming one of, one of the, most, uh, the most fun and fulfilling. And, um, and it ended up being sort of the end of my, my, early, my early 20s, which were marked by a, a feeling of intense aloneness. Um, so I would say like, not only to, um, you know, not only to look for, uh, for friendships that you think exist, um, but also maybe, I'm sorry, did I foul someone? Also maybe those that don't, um, you know, also maybe like, uh, it's possible, it's possible that you have relationships of, with people you consider to be acquaintances who would be your friends if you would just make at least in my case, like if I, I just needed to make the effort, um, the effort to be a better listener and the effort to spend more time with people. And that's, that's when my life changed. Nope. Not a good pass. Boy, that's a great way to end the game. Huh, Meredith? Well, 
friends, it's all darkness here in uh, Barcelona where uh, it's been a thumping victory by uh, uh, FC Barcelona against AFC Wimbledon. But you know what? We made it. We made it all the way to Camp Nou. Uh, hopefully that's what Ball John Green is discussing with his teammates right now. He's saying, listen, this is going to be a long season, and we're going to remember this moment. Kurt Zuma's disappointed. It's going to be a long season, but uh, we're going to get through it together. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.